Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today, I got something new to show you. I got this new sight put on here. Let me show you this sight. Look at that bad boy. Hopefully you can see it. This right here, sight, is patterned off of a Lyman uh, 21, 1895. And so, they uh, put these on the 1895 Winchester and also the 1886. I bought this one here from Buffalo uh, Arms, and uh, it's kind of spendy, but it seems to be a really good sight. And we're going to show you some close-up pictures of it right over here, and also right after I introduce this video. So today, what we're going to be shooting, we're going to be shooting this 450 grain uh, Swift bullet, and this is a Swift A-frame bullet, into these ballistic blocks of gel, and just see how far this 450 grain uh, swift bullet will go. Now this should be a African game bullet. I mean if you was going to shoot African game animals like the Cape Buffalo and stuff, this bullet should work on them. So we're going to set up and shoot it and see how fast it's going. We shot one yesterday and it should be right here somewhere. This one right here, this bad boy right here. We shot it yesterday. It penetrated 16 inches of hard packed dirt and it still has quite a bit of uh, weight to it. Not only did it go through 16 inches of hard packed dirt, it, it maintained its forward momentum, did not turn or tilt any. So that's pretty good penetration. Let's get set up and shoot these and see what happens. Uh, that one yesterday was doing 2,324 feet a second. So let's see, we got it loaded up just a touch hotter. Let's see how fast she's going. See what she'll do. Trying out this new sight on this 1886 Winchester. This right here is a swift A-frame bullet. We're gonna shoot some of these things and see what these bad boys will do. Take a look at that sight there. Four hundred and fifty grain uh, swift bullet up. Let's see how far she goes and what she does. Oh, right into the dirt still. Looks like it's going 2,308 feet a second. <clears throat> look at the, look at kind of devastation it did in that first uh, block of gel. I mean, that's wide. It's come in there really making a big wound channel. It tore right through there, went all the way through that second block and stopped right here in the third block. Now that's a lot of penetration. That would penetrate any kind of Cape Buffalo. It would penetrate any of those, depending on how many major bones you hit, of course, because bones are pretty tough. But most animals, one block is gonna represent most deer and stuff. So it looks like we have a little over 35 inches of penetration on this ballistics gel. And this is 10% FBI jail. So that's a lot of penetration. Here's another angle where you can see that going through there. Come all the way down through here, tore through there and stopped right there. 
we'll get that thing out of there and weigh it and see how much it weighs. That's looking like that wound channel is about three inches wide at the widest point. Uh, I'd say two and three quarter inches wide most of the way to about right here. And of course it tapers off. I hope the slow-mo showed some pretty good uh, expansion. As you've seen, this is over 17 pounds and it chunked it all the way down yonder. It weighs 440 grains. That thing expanded out to 84 in, uh, caliber. Here's that bullet that penetrated 16 inches of hard packed dirt. It also, let's see how much it weighs, 318 grains. That's pretty good for going through all that dirt. It also expanded out to 79 caliber. Yep, 79 caliber. All right, I ordered this site from Buffalo Arms and it come with all these different pieces. It had uh, this tap and this drill bit. And what you had to do is you had to tap, drill and tap this front hole and drill and tap this back hole. And now it's got this sight on it. I think it looks good. It's copied after the old rim, uh, lineman with a 95. So, anyhow, I'm gonna take it out and side it in, see how it works. See if you can see that name on it. It looks to be a pretty good sight. <laughs>